Hi, Roy Kirkas here. Today I'm going to hand color this photo of mine, which I call Reflections. This was shot in Encinitas, California, from the Swami's parking lot looking south. So this is uh, Swami's Beach down here, and then further on here, the San Aleo State Beach. I've colored this image a couple of times before, but this is the first time I'm going to do it as a sunset. Lately I'm kind of into like coloring my photos as sunsets, even though I shot them at noon or something. Even this one I, I probably didn't... No, this one I did shoot close to sunset actually. Anyway, I'm going to use a little more vibrant colors than I have normally done it. And I'm going to use my Marshall photo oils, which are over here. So these are very transparent type of uh, oils. And I'm going to wipe them on with cotton rounds and Q-tips. Okay, let's get this done. Okay, so we're going to start with the sky. At the very top we'll add sky blue. Rubbing it on with a um, cotton round. Then we'll move on to it's called Air Force Blue, which is a little more purple. Don't worry too much yet about the palm trees. That's going to change later. a little bit into the blue above. clean cotton round and smooth out the two legs but also blend them together a little bit. Just like this. left and right just to smooth it out more trying to reduce the brush strokes Yeah, 
little smoother on this side. Okay, now I'm going to add violet. Keep it a little bit level with the horizon. Okay, time for a clean cotton round. And again, we're smoothing it out and and blending it in with the previous layer. You don't have to worry too much about the darkest areas here. You don't see the paint on that. Same thing again, smoothing it out.
lying it in with the violet from the previous layer. that blend a little bit better so I'm going to add a little bit more orange into the purple Cadmium yellow to the cadmium, cadmium orange. Not too much. Now we'll add even more yellow.
let's add some impression of clouds here. You can just take a clean, toss them around and just remove a little bit. Q-tip and we're going to remove some of that paint that got on the ocean at the horizon. I'll leave it here because it kind of looks nice with the sun shining on, on the bluff. Or even here with the houses in the distance. But this ocean is going to get an aquamarine or viridian, so I want to remove this paint here. Now let's do the ocean, so I'm using Viridian for that, it's a nice color, that's what the ocean normally looks like at a sunset. Of course this is too much, but I'm gonna make it a little more subtle. Staying away a little bit from the horizon, I can go a little closer. But the very last part I'll do with a Q-tip, so I, I'm not going over into the sky again. And of course I don't want to put the color on the white water part, it needs to stay white. Okay, let's take a clean cotton round and make that a little subtler. Moving paint now. You know what? I might not even have to go with a Q-tip here. The horizon looks pretty good this way already. Yeah. Let's leave it this way. But. This is still too intense. See how this image has already totally transformed? And 
And then these waves here can also have a little less of that color. So removing slightly it gives it again back a little bit of depth. The waves are becoming a little bit more prominent again. For these parts here, I'll use a Q-tip to remove the paint. You get some sharper edges. done. Now let's do the bluff. Let's see. There's quite some green on here, some vegetation. So I'll add some green. I was thinking of what I first should do burn sienna in between, but I can do that after I put on the green. Obviously, this is too much, too. Inside, I've removed some of this here. This is a little too much. Now, since we have the green, let's add quite some green to all this here.
I can see there's some dirt coming through here, so we're going to add burn sienna to that to those areas. And now we can also do the palm trees and I'll do that with a Q-tip. So I waited to, I, I did the sky first and then the palm tree. So otherwise if I would have to do the sky now, I would go over these palm trees or I had to be extra careful. Looking pretty good. Uh, you know what, I will wait with this guy because I want to do the beach first. For the same reason I waited with these, so I don't mess this up later. So let's take out the, the burnt sienna. And I'm going to add that also to this part, the dead leaves of the palm trees. A little bit in the back here, the beach, this part here, and these poles. Start with the beach. Well, again, this is too much, but I find it easier to remove paint later than to try to put the exact amount on immediately. Well, this is the dead part of the, of the palm tree, so that I can do.
Big blob here. Okay. So let's take the clean side of this pattern round. Clean up the beach a little bit. for this area in the back here. So now let's add some color to these dead leaves. Mix that up a little here. It also it reduces the saturation a little bit of the of the green that we put on earlier. finish that palm tree.
good. And now let's add some burnt sienna to this guy here. To this palm tree. Transparent anymore. And then, what I normally like to do with this image is add some orange <coughs> from where the sun is shining. So, I like to add that here. It's close to Burn Sienna. see the difference. Maybe even to the leaves here, the ones that are facing the sun. this one yeah maybe a little bit to the buildings here And some of that orange to the side here, and then I think we're done. Oh no, not quite yet. We need to clean up this bar here. And I turn around the Q-tip, so I take clean spots each time. That's clean. And now we need to remove a little bit from the beach here. Because I, I like to keep that white or light grey. This is done. Here it is. This is the first time I've colored it as a sunset like this. I mean, I've done it like sunsetting before, but not to this extreme. It actually turned out to be quite a colorful piece, and you can see it's very different from when I started. So, if you like, if you like this video, and you want to see more of my work, please subscribe, and I will see you next time.